Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future. When we left off last time, Edna accidentally ran away in the DeLorean and has somehow sabotaged time so that there is no Hill Valley at all. So, we are trying to track down exactly when this happened. All day. I need to give her something and couldn't figure out what, and this is my big clue right here. So. Let's get her back in the window. Yeah, off screen, I had her looking out the window, and I thought, well, let's just try to talk to Doc, and maybe he'll say something about what she could possibly want. What is it? Let me see. But then, when I click on him, I brought you him. He's him. an option. Oh, him, him, ho. Okay, so what do we want to call him? She's not going to remember him as Doc. She will remember Carl Sagan. But she also remembers that. Let's try it as Emmett Brown. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to Just do? go closer. Trust we got her to God. talk to us. Just Come go on. with it. It can't be. Emmett. Yes, Edna. It's me. she going to yell at him? It is! It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! Emmett! Oh, how did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming? Or, or stay there! It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. She's not going to come out with, like, a gun or something, is she? No, okay. Just the algae cakes. Darling, you've come back. Well, um... <laughs> of course Marty just I knew you An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. Um. It was Schnookums, right? Schnookums. Uh, uh, Schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. Oh, and you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic what's this? Um, okay. <laughs> I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh... Edna? You okay? What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? You got arrested. Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Okay, um, the cactus? It's probably something Help me like out an here, answer. Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. Okay. Something with the flower? I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... He'll arrest you. Mm-hmm. Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh! He's after me! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! 
curses! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And... here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh... I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? Don't Wait, worry, don't Marty. worry. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Okay, um... Not sure what that'll do. I wanted a big amount of fire, but fine. Let's try the fire, because she should see a flash of light, right? So... No, wrong. Because I can't move it over to her. Okay, drop it. Okay, maybe the sign's from the past. Not sure what that'll do. You just gotta show it to her. Blacksmith? Not sure. I can't target just her. So it's gotta be... Can we like set the signs up somewhere? Not sure no. what... This isn't gonna do it either. Not sh mm. Help me out here, Doc. Let me figure something out. Yes? Yeah. She's waiting for a time jump. I know, but that DeLorean's jumping days are behind it. Well... Still, maybe there's some way to simulate the experience. You got an idea? Edna used the DeLorean to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Probably didn't know how. herself in her shoes. Unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Would you risk another trip? I might. Maybe we could check the time circuits to find out what day she landed. I don't know, it looks pretty rusted could, out. If there's anything left of the time circuits, but I'm afraid they rusted out long ago. Yeah, they're looking pretty rough. Um, When do you think it died? The DeLorean, I mean. That vehicle hasn't been operational in a very long time. My guess is, whatever happened to Hill Valley also happened to it. Alright. You know, I've been dealing with Edna Strickland a lot lately, and I've seen her old and I've seen her young, but I've never seen her so... Batshit crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> How do you think Edna got this way? I guess that Edna's immense guilt over whatever she did in the past, combined with the trauma of traveling through time, has caused her to repress her memories. If we want to find out what happened, we'll have to break through those blocks, preferably before the time ripples catch up with us. All right. I still can't believe my grandpa married Trixie. Well, what are we gonna do about that? Don't worry about it's it. A dire situation, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a back seat to unraveling this unspeakable catastrophe. You really think we can get through to Edna? She seems pretty out there. No, things have been working the pretty all right so far. Can be restored with the appropriate stimulation. We just have to find the right cues to lead her down a path of emotional recovery before we get erased by the time stream. Sure. No problem. It's disorienting enough under the best of circumstances. Imagine the effect on a mind that's completely unprepared, especially a mind that does a deal well with chaos. All right, then. Explain something to me, Doc. Edna jumped to the past and made Hill Valley disappear, right? That's the working hypothesis. Then how come we're still around? Yeah. Whatever Edna did to Hill Valley must have happened so long ago that the ripples in the time stream haven't caught up with us yet. Hmm. So how long do we have before the ripples catch up with us? Oh, I'm sure we've got at least an hour before everything <laughs> goes to hell. Great. If we don't restore the timeline, I'll never be born, r right? Probably not. <laughs> but even if we do restore it, my grandpa's gone and married the wrong woman. 
Either way, I'm hosed. One crisis at a time, Marty. Right now, let's worry about getting the full story out of Edna. Okay. And, all right, that looks like pretty much all our conversation options. I'll figure something out. I'm sure you will. So, we have to simulate a time jump. Hmm. Oh, that looks promising. Can't you move a little faster, Danny? He'll never catch me in this car! It's about to do something unbelievable! Yeah? Can't you move a little... Okay, that's He'll the never same. Catch... Mm. I don't suppose the flux capacitor still works. I build my parts sturdy, but not that sturdy. What do we want to do with this thing? Uh, I don't think the outhouse is going to help. Yeah. Something with the tripwire? Yeah, yeah, there we go. The lights! I'm being transported! Where? To the past! What do you see? Hill Valley! But it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by- I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. Huh? That man is an imposter. I'm not even sure it is a man. This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids. <laughs> Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. Okay, I saw a hat over here. Yeah, yeah, get her hat. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. But it'll look great on that cactus. There we go. Nice fit. Looks like a Strickland to me. Like my little brother, perhaps, but not like my grandfather. Grandfather was much more uh, shaggy. All right. Well, I happen to have a mop head. There you go. Oh, Grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure. But all the buildings are so sturdy and well-kept. And the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century. And I know the reason why. Oh, why? why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. <laughs> That's my only option. Tannen. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... A... A what? Speakeasy? I don't know. It's something no, the I don't like. Something evil. <laughs> this is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. Alright, evil to Edna is totally going to be a saloon. 
I, I am loving this algae box that's just glued to her hand. Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. And something's about to happen. Oh, yes, yeah, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. Okay. It'll break the spell. So, we've got to hang it up somewhere. Where can we put it? On the window? Not sure what that'll do. Prop it up on the cactus? Not sure what that'll do. Tripwire? Not sure what that'll do. Oh, hang on. No, it's just the window again. On the door? Not sure what that'll do. Alright, where are we gonna put this thing? Lean it up on the DeLorean? Not sure what that'll do. Oh, good grief. Mailbox? Not sure what that'll do. I'm feeling like this is absolutely the thing. I just gotta find the right place to put it. There we go. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I, I know what know you'll what do. I'll do. But I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. You will burn it to the ground. So, set fire to her outhouse? No, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. <gasps> Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. Well, she is the champ and of arson. Now, watch. Edna, this is a really spooky side to you. I mean, we've seen some spooky sides to you before, but... The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness! <laughs> burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh oh. What is it, that? Is it the fire? It's Turn spread. Away. Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. Oh, I'm yep. a hooligan. <laughs> <laughs> well, worse than a hooligan, you're an arsonist. I, too thick. I mean, she kind of deserved it. She burns things down. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. And a box of algae cakes. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? <gasps> you set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And you did now, that yourself. By the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals to. Hey. You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in the Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. I'm not cheating, please. Because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Are you gonna be okay? Well, thanks, great grandpa. Well, to 1876. 
There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back. You go through the front. Got it. Alright, who's this fella sleeping on the job? And actually, how far can we go towards the front? That's it. Okay. I think I liked it better on the outhouse door. Okay, and we've got to stay on the boardwalk? Alright. <laughs> I'd better not get too close. Well... What else are we going to do? We've got to get past him, right? Pickles, huh? <laughs> I'd better not get too close. <laughs> Alright. I'd better not- Yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is. Adna, jeez Louise! there. Edna, stop. It's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed <laughs> to do that? Well, maybe something with that chandelier. The chandelier's right over their heads. That's gotta be useful somehow. Okay, what else have we got? Maybe I could jump him. Don't. I gotta find some way to snuff out Edna's torch without getting her and Doc killed. Hang in there, Doc. Okay. Hmm, what do we got over here? A tacky painting. Dolores Miskin? Um, okay. Move around a little bit. What kind of options? Maybe we can come to a more peaceable solution, Mr. Tannen. Keep your distance, fancy pants. I don't know you from Adam. But that won't stop me from putting you in a box next to your crazy girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. <laughs> Ooh. This seems useful. Was that a mouse? What's the matter, Miss Pickford? Scared of a little mouse? No, but you should be scared. My scary <laughs> diseases. It's a fact. Look it up. Okay, so what can I do with this exactly? Seems like there's potential there. What else have we got? Hmm. Wait, hey? Oh, that she's about to light up. Cripes, it's no wonder the town went up. I can smell the kerosene from here. Alright. What's so over? Ah! What kind of odds would you give me that I can disarm you and- Man, this thing is not light. Ooh, we've got a handy ladder here. Oh, no going out here and exposing ourselves. Well, I do want to look at these barrels, now that Pickle Tannin's juice. not in the way. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. Hmm. I wonder what's in these. Oh, stop quiet! God, Marty. The hell? <laughs> oh, cow crap! There goes all my pickled pig's feet! Blech. Well, we got one barrel here. Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. Okay. And what can we do with the sandbag? Man, this thing is not light. All right, we can't lift it anyway. Why are you dressed like that? Okay, what do we got up here? All right. 
Mm. Move that onto this pallet. Mm. Yeah, to get the pickle juice up. There we go. Mm. Another one. Mm. Not enough. Okay, can we get this one? <gasps> it's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. Okay. Are you here to haul me back to 1931 for my supposed crimes? Or is there some sort of time court for that kind of thing? Time court? What in the name of Ulysses S. Grant is she talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it, buddy. Okay, let's... Step on there. Going down. Looks like your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gomorrah, Tannen. Okay. There we go, and that'll keep this down. <sighs> All right, physics. Okay. Pickle barrel's where we need it. Or at least closer to. Let's go grab it. Marty, you gotta you gotta get over there and grab it. Walk along this. We can't go this way, right? Come on. Dang it. All right, so there's got to be something in. A hundred years from now, Hill Valley will erect a statue in my honor. There won't be a Hill Valley. This, there won't be a Hill Valley. Yeah. A hundred minutes from now. Okay. No getting back out here. But I don't think we need to anyhow. Mess with this floorboard again. No. That's not gonna help anything. Um. Alright, what have we got here? Okay, it seems like it it's got to be something up top, right? Cuz we want the we want the pickles to be up. Why can't I walk over that way? Go. Go. What do I have in my inventory? I don't think there's anything especially useful. What am I going to do with this? Mary Pickford don't tell me that you're not traveling through time under a pseudonym, Mr. Carl Sagan. <laughs> Quit yammering, you two. Nothing worse than a chatty standoff. Well, there's a sandbag over Tannen's head. I wonder if I can get something over Edna's torch. It seems like I should be able to just roll my pickle barrel right along there. If I could get to my pickle barrel. Look at it there. So tantalizing. Can I roll it over it here? Is that what I need to try to do? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We'd have to get it down first. Which I didn't think. Maybe we need to let it kind of slam down. Ugh, we're gonna try moving these sandbags off. Why are you so hellfire determined to meddle in my affairs, woman? You've been a burr in my behind for over a month now. You're the source of the nope. hellfire now around that they're here, on, they stay on. I'm just so fanning the flames that. a little. Lady, I'm just giving the hard-working folk of Hill Valley a place to play some cards, look at some dancing girls, and knock back a few drinks. I'm kind of with him on exactly. this. Exactly. Okay. I don't think there's anything to be done Dolores with this. Dolores Miskin? No. Nothing else over here. I really don't think it's this. I mean, it's got to factor in somewhere, but I, it looks Say, like maybe to get the... chandelier you've got there, Tannen. Is it French? I know the chandelier talk. Ranch. I should have listened to what he had to say about it. No. Um. I. I just 
gotta get the pickle barrel inside. I'm really stuck on that. Fine. Can you move it without touching it? Well, I am trying. Oh my gosh, I'm a fool. There we go. Excellent. And then now we'll go down and we'll hit the loose board. And that'll take care of that and then it'll roll right into place. What was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear a noise. Alright, down we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Maybe we can come to a more peace. Beautiful. Alright. The trap is set. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> won't be long now. We'll just see. No, it won't be long now. Do, 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 do. Seems awfully dangerous to you just drop a chandelier on a couple people, but given that they're going to burn the whole town down if we don't, that's just what we got to do. All right. The ammo's in place. Now to pull the trigger. Go for it. Oh. Um, so, hmm, what do we do with it? Not sure what the- A hundred years from now, Hill Valley will erect a statue in my honor. So, how do we this, pull the trigger? There will be a Hill Valley a hundred minutes from now. The sandbag's right over Tannen's head. Uh-huh. The ammo's in- Rope again? It's not connected to this, though. sure why I did that. Yeah, it's not useful. Uh, so, how do we slice this bad boy down? Just hop on it, Marty. That's not the best plan. Okay. What am I missing here? Come on. Can I grab this lantern? That would be a way to maybe set it on fire and Loose floorboard's not going to help now, right? It's done. Yeah, did its part. Are you here to haul me back to 1931 for my supposed crimes? Or is there some sort of... Yeah, none of this is going to cut it. Time court for that kind of so. thing. Time court? What in the name of Ulysses S. Grant is she talking about? Tacky painting's not going to help. Dolores Miskin? Ammo's in place. Now to pull the trigger. Okay, but how? Not over here. Not this. I think it's gotta be something up here. Why are you so... in there, Doc. Oh, good grief. Time to spring it. Yeah, I know. If I had a gun, I could probably outdraw Tannen, but I don't. Okay. I know. I'm impatient. One object drops, then the other will. Okay. Oh. Come I was on. thinking I needed to knock the Got whole chandelier down. Words. I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Run! Pickled. Who the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. Nice one, Doc. All right. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fisticuffs set a bad example <laughs> for the boys. Now, where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. <gasps> Edna's DeLorean. 
Uh, how are we gonna stop her? Okay, Edna, nothing to be worried about. You're a smart woman with a strong moral compass. You just need to think your way out of it. Oh, fudge! <laughs> What's she doing? I think she's spouting euphemisms. <laughs> Luckily, the road out of Hill Valley is still pretty rough in 1875. It's unlikely she'll manage to accelerate 88 miles an hour anytime soon. How are we going to stop her? Good question. We can't risk injuring her or damaging the vehicle for fear of altering the timeline even further. Luckily, those diagnostic lights might alter itself put all over her. The lawyer have given me an idea. Yeah? Here, take these. What are these? Flux synchronization. Okay. How do they work? I generally use them for maintenance purposes. But we might be able to use them to sync up with the alternate drawings diagnostic modules, thus making it possible to link both sets of time circuits and override the time destination of the alternate DeLorean. At least that's the theory, anyway. Well, all right. That's a great plan, I think. Best of all, we won't need to weld the modules to the frame. Snap them over the diagnostic lights. Wait a minute, Doc. Wait, you want me to go out there? How the heck am I supposed to do that? Good question. Let me think. Aha! A hoverboard! It saved our hides a few times before, so it seemed like the appropriate tool to bring along for the job. Alright then. Sweet! You okay? It's just like riding a bike. Only a lot more dangerous. Ready to make the jump? Ready, Doc. One, two, three, jump! Whoa. Nice four, buddy. Out to reception on the wireless. Great. Where'd you get these? From Bird's Cash on 21st Century Video Game Consoles. Now remember. All you've got to do is attach the fluxing modules to those diagnostic lights. Will do, Doc. Alrighty. But I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time we'll see if we can synchronize the flux whatever thing. And I'm assuming we're going to want... we got to get her back to her correct timeline, right? So jump back to 1931 and then we got to somehow get her out of the car and figure out what to do with both of these DeLoreans.